Number 73, using the exact exponential treatment, find how much time is required to charge an initially uncharged 100 picofarad capacitor through a 75 mega ohm resistor to 90% of its final voltage. All right, so first of all, we're talking about charging. So we have to use our charging formula, not our discharging one, okay? So this is going to be, uh, this is going to be a voltage at some point in time after the charging begins is equal to the initial voltage, all right? Sometimes they call that the battery's EMF or the total uh, voltage of the entire cell. It doesn't matter, you know, kind of what you call it. Uh, but just know that this is the maximum voltage, all right? And then that's going to be 1 minus now e to the negative elapsed time divided by the resistance multiplied by the capacitance. What I'm after is I'm after solving this for time. So what I have to do is isolate T. First thing I'm going to do is divide VO from both sides. All right, so we're going to get VT over VO is then going to be equal to 1 minus E to the negative T over RC. What I'd like to do here is I'd like to add this term on over to the uh, left-hand side and then subtract this term on over to the right. So I can literally just do a little bit, whoop, just switch a rooski like that, okay? Literally just like that. Now I realize that I got to get rid of, uh, to find T, I got to get rid of my E. And in order to get rid of E, you know now, right, by doing several examples that... We have to take the natural log, and if we do that to the left, we also got to do that to the right. So that'll cancel the E, and what happens then is this exponent comes down, and it becomes a line item, basically. So it's negative T over RC will then be equal to ln of this mumbo-jumbo. So ln of 1 minus VT over VO. Now notice this is really over 1, right? I could write a fraction like that. And I can now cross-multiply the RC on out. So in other words, just take my RC, go boom. Okay, and then also negative sign 2. Divide by negative 1, so I just bring the negative sign over on over to the right, and there is now my formula for time. Okay, now you don't have to do this ahead of time, meaning you could have plugged in numbers and simplified, but I've done that already, so I wanted to give you a different flavor. So now what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our values. So this is negative ln. 1 minus now Vt over Vo. Notice what they told us. They said uh, the resistor is going to be charged to 90% of its final voltage. But wait a minute, what is the final voltage of this thing? If it's being charged, the final voltage is the maximum voltage. Or the, you know, you could think about it as initial. If it's being charged, it's probably better to think about it as max, though, instead. All right? They use these values kind of loosely. So the max voltage, as I was saying, was kind of like the O down here. So let me just make that little alteration, max. That might be a little better in terms of thinking about it. Max, and this is max, max, max. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, we have to now consider that uh, if the if the uh, capacitor is being charged to 90% of its final voltage, pretend the final voltage was 100. So what is it then being charged to if it's charged to 90% of its max? Well, then the voltage at some point in time is 90, right? Doesn't that make sense? And what's 9 over then 100? If I took VT over Vmax, that is simply 90 over 100. That's equal to 0.9. But wait a minute, here's 90%. How do I get from 90 to 0.9? I just simply got to divide by 100, right? Or move that decimal two places on over to the left. Okay, the reason why I'm speeding through it is because we've done like 17 problems on this already. So it should be now nice and quick. So this is going to be 0 0.9. Boom. And then multiply that now by RC. So the resistance there was mega ohms, but you know we need that in ohms. So that's 75 multiplied by 10 to the minus, excuse me, 10 to the sixth. And then multiply that by the by the capacitance. They gave it to you in pico, but you know we need that in farad. So take that 100, multiply it by now 10 to the minus 12. And oh boy, take out the calculator and just plug it all in. So this is now negative ln of 1 minus 0.9. Close those parentheses. Multiplied by 75 times 10 to the 6th. Multiplied then by 100 times 10 to the minus 12th. And here we go. The time worked out to be now 0 0.0173 seconds. There you go. Guys, thanks very much. Hopefully that helped. I will see you in the next problem. Take care.